All right, for Mac users, the way that you connect to your database is by simply open up this elephant icon, making sure that your database is up and running, then click on open Postgres. And right here, you see that you have three databases by default. So pretty much just click on any of these. And you can see that my iTerm or terminal actually did open. And if I make this bigger, so right here, you can see that we are inside of this database mode. So this was the actual command that was invoked. So applications, Postgres app, contents, versions 11, and then bin and then PSQL. So this was the command invoked. And then minus P for the port 5432 minus D. And then this stands for database Postgres. So if I open up the elephant and then open up open Postgres. So you see that Postgres is the actual database. And if I go to server settings, you see that it's running on port 5432. Now I'm going to come out of that and then close this. Now, if I open up a new shell and then type PSQL, you will see that the command was not found. And this is because we need to add it to the path. So to do so, I'm going to simply edit my path. And this assumes that you are using um, iTerm as well as OMYZSH. If not, simply add it to your bash profile. So just let me close everything here and then quit terminal. And now I'm going to open iTerm. And now I'm going to type CD and then tilde. And if I do a ls minus a, you can see that I have few files in here. But the one that I'm interested in is this one here. So dot zshrc. So I'm going to do vi and then dot zshrc. Just like that. So now I need to add the export right here. So I'm going to press I and then simply say export and then path equals to and then dollar sign and then path forward slash. And if I go back to open Postgres and then open it again. So you see that I'm after this path right here. So I'm going to grab all of that command C and then go back. And then this should be column and then forward slash and then paste that in. And we don't need the actual PSQL. So just let me add a space right there and then remove that. And then to escape out of that, simply press escape and then column WQ. There we go. So now if I say source, so to pick up the changes I made in ZSHRC, there we go. So if I now clear the screen, Command L, and then simply type PSQL, you see that we have PSQL working without having to specify the full path. This is all for now. Join me in the next video.